Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to welcome in Derek DeBoer, the general manager of TC Chevy in Ashland. Derek, good to see you. Thanks good to see you too. In. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So a lot of people know you as the GM of TC Chevy, I've seen you in the commercials, but they may not know you're a professional race car driver. How did you get into the world of auto racing? Yes, the secret life behind the general manager, right? <laughs> yes. Um, no, it literally was the sport that I looked to as a child, and those race car drivers were my superheroes. That's what I wanted to do. And it was about 19 years ago, my wife said one night, what dream is it that you haven't chased yet? And I said, I always wanted to be a professional race car driver. And she kind of gave me the green light and said, go wow. for it. Why not? That's exciting. C congratulations on, on that. You know, you obviously married well. Yeah, you exactly. You have, have a wife encourage you to follow your dreams. So, you know, this last season was a breakout year for you. You had wins, you had runner-up trophies. Tell us what led to that recent success. It really was. I mean, I, you know, I guess it's uh, three and a half years ago, I stumbled into a situation with one of the most successful teams in North American endurance car racing. And we just got along on lots of levels. The team owner and his family, we've become really good friends. And I think just the consistency with the program and familiarity kind of set up the success. So I've now been driving with the same team, with the same crew, the same car for two seasons under my belt. And uh, you know, you get comfortable with something, all of a sudden really great results start to happen. I've just had tons of support to get there and get it done, so. Yeah, let's let's talk about the the financial support. Obviously, that's a huge part of racing. We've all we've all seen the, the sponsors, you know, the the Ricky Bobby, you know, the the Wonder Bread type, uh, everything all over their outfits and, and cars and stickers. So how how were you uh, able to undertake all that while still working a day job at TC Chevy? Well, the earlier days were really a lot easier because it was just you know the hobby level of the sport. You you went and found an opportunity that that you'd pay for, and mm -hmm. that's kind of how every driver has to pay their dues. Yeah, you, you love it, and so then you, you start wanting to move up to classes, or you know, you have big goals. Like, you know, for me, one of the big ones was to race at the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona. That was a huge one, and that is the highest level of endurance racing that there is. So to get there, there was a, a lot that had to happen, and mm -hmm. as you start getting to the higher level of cars and whatnot, the, the budgets are, are crazy, and it, it really does uh, require, you know, corporate partnerships, sponsorships, um, it was the right people to want to be involved, and I've been lucky enough to stumble into some of those situations and have really good support, you know, like from BRM Chronographs, a mm -hmm. watchmaker, and, uh, and a few others. LaSalle Solutions has been a really big partner with our team, and my team owner and I also just work really well together. So we've kind of, you know, gone after different ways of, of finding sponsorship and partnership, you know, arm in arm, rather mm -hmm. than me going here, him going there, and seeing sure. what each other can, can get. We've really become strategic with it and put together programs that offer a real benefit to who's involved. Very nice. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Not much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Derek DeBoer, the general manager of TC Chevy in Ashland, not to mention professional race car driver, as evidenced by this helmet, which nobody has. Congratulations. We're always proud of our helmets, race car <laughs> yeah. drivers. It's a big thing. <laughs> Carry it with you everywhere you go, even when, <laughs> Just when in you're case. in the suit. Yes, you never know. Yeah. All right, so how do you find the time to, to be a professional race car driver while managing a car dealership? With a really amazing team. I've got so much support from the team at the dealerships and uh, you know, they've really kind of bought into it. I found myself at, at one point almost being uh, shy and reluctant about the time that it took away and then I finally just went to them and said, hey, this is, this is one of my dreams and passions. I'm really going to go for it. Are you guys in? And they said yes and they're with me side, side by side. So it's, it's really a great, really great deal. Wonderful. So when does, the, when does the next season start? What kind of goals have you set for yourself? Uh, funny question. Yeah, it depends on exactly what happens next season. So mm -hmm. um, TRG is the team that I drive for, and right now we're really looking at exactly you know, which series we're going to land in full time. And uh, Kevin, the team owner, has actually got me set up for a really, really cool opportunity. Right now our main focus is a big push on uh, the IMSA WeatherTech Series, mm -hmm. which is the premier endurance racing series in North America. The first race would be the 24 hours of Daytona uh, towards the end of January. So wow. we're in full hustle mode to get all the partnerships and announcements together that are gonna go with that. In the meantime, we also qualified for the world finals uh, Lamborghini race, which is in Spain, um, December 1st. So that one's coming there up really quick. Yeah. But again, you know, back to the sponsorship and partnership model, mm -hmm. it came up so last minute, we don't know for sure if we're going. We've not qualified. Not even right now. We wow. might go, we might not. So. Wow, fascinating. So, so for people who are, who are watching like at home right now, how do you explain endurance racing? I mean, how do you practice for that? Um, you know, it's 
interesting to train for because you're working really hard, but your body is stationary, your sure. muscles are all engaged. But really it's the mental part because there's not room to be 1% off. You have to be 100% on the whole time. So um, I actually train in CrossFit at, at uh, mm -hmm. CrossFit The Den here in Medford and then mix in some just endurance training, some running, cardio, stuff like that to stay sharp. And then uh, any opportunity to get in the car is obviously a treasured one. So mm -hmm. uh, we do lots of corporate day events where we go give go give thrill rides, do coaching on the side, just whatever to stay behind the wheel. Even training in go-karts is, is a big thing. Anything you can do. Interesting. Okay, so if people want to follow your career, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, a couple of really easy ways, uh, DerekDeBoerRacing.com, and then my wife, Brooke, has put together a, a really cool project. It's kind of a docu-series following us, and that's FastLife.tv. So, Very exciting. Yeah. Well, great to, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here breaking it down for us. Thank you. Good luck, hopefully, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, thank we'll you. Hopefully we'll be in Spain, then Daytona. That'd be the dream, <laughs> oh, dream start to the season. That's wonderful. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.